Hi, I'm John. Welcome to Meat Hall. We're still at Hamsa Yoga Farm, but today we're inside our yoga yurt. We are ready to bend. Warrior three. Today, we're going to be drinking Bee Nectar Meadery. Bee Nectar takes a lot of inspiration for their names after TV shows and movies. So, follow along to see if you can spot your favorite fandom. What we're going to be drinking today are three sessions and a still. A margarita mead, a mango mead, an apple cherry mead, and a blended version of several of their apple cherry meads. We're going to start with Tuco style freakout. Oh, tight, 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 yeah! I never seen breaking that. Nina! <laughs> Sorry. Can't relate. This is a margarita style mead with orange blossom honey agave syrup, and lime. On the label, it says that it's pale green. So, let's see if it really is. Whoa, hello! What was that? That might have been from us carrying it out here. <laughs> <laughs> we have some beautiful clarity here. Little tiny bubbles. I wouldn't exactly call that green. It's more of a, like a pale yellow hue to it. Overall, it's crystal clear. You can see totally through it. <sighs> oh, that's a really pleasant aroma. Nice and fruity. That big citrus notes from the lime and the orange blossom honey, too. Ooh. Yeah, that is pleasantly tart from the lime. It's a nice, delicate balance between citrusy tart and honey sweet and then the carbonation is adding this really crisp element to it as well i don't think i'm freaking out at all i could drink this all day oh blue yellow pink whatever man just keep bringing me that perfect for a warm summer day like today next mead we have is the necro mango con this mellow Mel, or mead made with fruit is made with mangoes also there's some black peppercorns and i can't wait to see what that brings to the table Cut that one in time. Very impressed with the clarity on these meads. Oh wow, that's an interesting smell. It's a, actually a very mild mango aroma and it's getting almost hidden by these peppercorns and it's kind of warping my senses a little bit. This is gonna be cool. It was a hard fight, but I saved my soul. It would be very easy to lose yourself in temptation with this mango peppercorn made. These flavors are off the wall. Nina? Yeah. Get me my boomstick. He has the Necronomicon. When the army of the dead arrives to destroy the world, he gets transported back and he's got a shotgun. He says, See this? This is my boomstick! It's pretty cool. I really love the subtle amounts of black peppercorn flavor that comes out of here. It's definitely not overpowering the mango and overall it's a very drinkable mead. Mm. The grabby hands of the undead coming to get us. This is light, refreshing, sweet. Never judge the Necro Mango Con Book of the Dead by its cover. Just because it's a dark beer bottle with a scary image on the front doesn't mean that you won't have something delicious inside. Zombie killer! Just to say, far, far better. The next mead we have is Zombie Killer. Just to say, is an apple mead or a sizer with cherries added. 
So this would be a Sizer Melamel Session Meet. Refer back to our video, 19 Things You Should Know Before Going to a Meadery. Sloppy pores all around today. <laughs> wow, look at that color. Another beautifully clear. This is like rose gold. Apple aromas and the cherry aromas are both coming through. I love the way that session meads carry up the aromas with the carbonation. Oh, it's tart and sweet. My cheeks. Oh, my cheeks. Oh, my God. Tart cherries. Super sweet. Apple. <laughs> Man, I can't help it. I'm puckered up. I don't know where to help you. <laughs> no, but seriously, the sweetness and the tartness are totally out of bounds. Like 10 out of 10 on both of those categories of sweet and tart. Uh, it's making my mouth do some crazy things here. Swish. Take a big sip and swish. Oh, you gotta swish. <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta swish. I think everything is really well represented here. The apples, the cherry, and even the honey too. Giving it a really nice mouthfeel. Next up is, oh my god, they killed zombie. This is a blended up version of all of the different apple cherry meads that they make. And it's a still with a little bit higher alcohol. I'd love to see a custom cork. Bee nectar. Yeah, beautiful. Clarity's really good. Just a little bit of particulate. Beautiful with that color too. Oh man. No wonder they blended this because I'm getting a lot of that rye whiskey right off the top of the nose. This is going to be pretty wild. Mm. I feel like the rye whiskey flavor imparts a lot into this sweet mead. It's a three-part harmony of this apple, cherry, and rye flavors. The honey kind of takes a back seat and just kind of contributes more to the, uh, the mouthfeel than anything else. The honey is like the vehicle for all of these flavors. I would definitely say that this is sweeter than the session meads. So those bee nectar meads were great. All that cherry reminded me of something. Bonus mead! <laughs> nope, can't do it. <laughs> All the way from Meridian Hive out of Austin, Texas, this is Dynamo Cherry Mead Session. This is going to keep that cherry train rolling. All the way to the top. Why not? It's Coachella Weekend 3. Let's party. Look at this deep red cherry color. That is a beautiful hue. Clarity is pretty good. Oh yeah. This is a lot like a cherry vanilla Coke. With the effervescence, it's giving me these audible cues like a soda. Hmm, whoa, hey now. That cinnamon is coming in just on the back end. It's really hard to find, but yeah, there it is. I would say that this is really firmly in the middle of semi-sweet. The cherries are nice and tart. The vanilla is definitely there, if not a little bit over the top. And the cinnamon comes in just under the radar. Final thoughts on bee nectar. Overall, the clarity and quality of this mead is top notch. I would have liked to have seen stronger green color as it was advertised on the Tugo, but the flavors were wonderful. The Necro Mango Con. This mango session is definitely not evil and very drinkable. I could drink this all day. Zombie Killer. Great flavor combination. But after tasting Oh My God They Kill Zombie, all I can think of is that rye flavor and how naturally it fit. Viridian Hives Dynamo. I really love the color of this cherry mead. The vanilla was slightly overpowering, but I think it was a great session. 
and I can't wait to try the rest of their lineup. My pick this week, excluding Meridian, has to be Necro Mango Con. The peppercorn was mild, and I really like that you can still taste the honey. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And as always, if there's a mead that you want us to review, let us know and we'll try to find it. As I mentioned to you guys before, there's only a couple more weeks left of me being here, and this is one of Nina's favorite spots. So let us know in the comments if you enjoyed Mead Hall being in the yurt. Love you. Bye. Tree pose. You stand fully erect. I am a giant peach. <laughs> Welcome to the yurt, teeny. Everything is hers, really. Where are you going? The ultimate zombie killing weapon is, of course, the official psycho stick, the tube. Tube. <laughs> I'm a classic tube guy. I'm a proud tube farmer.